So we saw Sha'Carri Richardson finally open up her season down at the Duval County um, Challenge in Jacksonville, Florida. That meet was a complete mess, right? If anyone was watching that meet, it was a complete mess. Getting the results was a mess. Getting, you know, seeing, watching the meet was a mess. It was delayed, all kinds of things. But Sha'Carri Richardson finally opening up her season. What does this mean? Well, she ran two races, a little bit different. Not exactly sure what happened, but she just ran two races. Her first race, 11.37 seconds, which she came fourth place behind a couple of the athletes, Aaliyah Hobbs, uh, Tony Chateri. So in a good field, but again, that weather was horrendous. She also ran into a negative 1.5 meter per second headwind. Then she came back. They had some issues with, I think, like cameras and wind or whatever it may be. Regardless, she came back running again in the 100 meters, running 11.27 seconds. Now, a lot of people have been coming out and saying, look at this, Shakari's done. She's, you know, she celebrated before the line, right? She's, you know, too cocky still. She doesn't get it. This, this is pretty much irrelevant. This is completely irrelevant. Shakari Richardson is opening up her season at a meet that was pouring rain. It was windy. The conditions were terrible. This really doesn't mean much. If we're really thinking about it, go back to 2021, right? We saw Shelly Ann Fraser Price do the exact same thing. Look back at her season opener at the um, the Diamond League back in, uh, I think it was Gateshead, right? Shelly Ann Fraser Price ran 11.62 seconds and 11.51 seconds at the Diamond League meet. Sha'Carri Richardson actually beat her in that meet. Guess what? The times were completely irrelevant, right? Later on in the season, we know what Shelly Ann Fraser Price was able to do in 2021. I think the same thing bodes for uh, Sha'Carri Richardson here. Not saying she's going to exactly run, you know, 10.60 seconds like Shelly Ann Fraser Price did, but I just think that this race is less about the time and more so about how she plays. Right, she finished amongst um, Aaliyah Hobbs, Twani Shateri, right, who are very high quality athletes, and then later on in the second race, she actually beat out Twani Shateri, Mary Beth St. Price, right. So I think noting how these athletes are able to finish amongst each other, the same thing. Thinking back to that Birmingham meet where we didn't see Dina Asher Smith win uh, in a fast time, we saw Sharika Jackson, uh, we saw Gabby Thomas, right. These athletes didn't run fast times. But considering how they place amongst each other is much more important, right? Because those head-to-heads are really what matters. Translate those performances to a high-quality meet, to the world championships, um, you know, to a, a better quality diamond league in terms of weather. Then that's a better comparison for the time because that, you know, the wind will be in their favor. Um, the conditions will be a lot more in their favor. When you have bad conditions, just look at the head-to-head -head matchups. And I think that's what we have to do here for Sha'Carri Richardson. We're not going crazy about, oh, she ran a slow time, people saying that she sandbagged, all that, irrelevant. I think Sha'Carri Richardson is in a great position, and even if you check out my last video, I wasn't factoring her in to uh, one of the medalists as I was talking about the potential Jamaican sweep, but I think now, not saying she's going to be a medalist, but I think she puts herself into a position that shows that she can make the U.S. team in the 100 meters, right? The women's 100 meters on the U.S. side is kind of mumbled up. I think Tiana Daniels is probably the only, at least in my opinion, the only person I would really put some money down on um, in the 100 meters to make the team. Aside from that, Gabby Thomas, Jenna Prandini, Twani Shateri, Ali Hobbs, so many athletes. I think Shakira Richardson inserts herself back into that conversation saying, okay, I think I might be able to make this team. I think I can finish top three at USA's to get myself to the world championships, and then we'll see what happens there. Times are irrelevant. Keep looking at the heads-to-heads, -heads, and we're going to see her actually running at Prefontaine um, just this coming weekend. So, of course, looking out for that. The other thing I do want to talk about, of course, is Elaine Thompson. Now, I just put out a video talking about how Shelly and Fraser Price is the favorite for the gold medal at the world championships. I've actually always, pretty much year after year, I think maybe only 2016, maybe 2011, were the only two years that I didn't have Shelly and Fraser Price as a favorite. But year after year, because of what Shelly and Fraser Price has been able to do, going into the championships, I've always seen her as a favorite. Now, Elaine Thompson, last year, had the dominant double, 100 and 200. She was, you know, pushing up against Flojo Times. So people, of course, have her clearly as a, you know, potentially, maybe not clearly, but a lot of people have her as a favorite entering this year. I said Shelly and Fraser Prices. I thought Elaine Thompson might have been injured because she pulled out of that Birmingham meet. What she ended up doing, she stayed in Jamaica, and she managed to run 10.94 seconds into a negative 1.8 meter per second headwind on the same day as that Birmingham meet. Whatever the reason, you know, she said she had some, you know, discomfort in training. That's perfectly fine. I'm not, I'm not saying there's any injury or anything like that. I think this bodes well two reasons. One, this kind of solidifies, not solidifies, but it lends that argument that 
the Jamaican women would are still in the position to really sweep the medals. So we might be able to see that. Of course, Dean Asher Smith inserting herself back into that conversation. And we're going to see a lot more at Prefontaine this weekend. But Elaine Thompson kind of proving that even if she's injured or even if she's having discomfort, she can still run fast. I said this before when we were talking about the Americans who, you know, might want to be able to medal um, and break up that Jamaican sweep. The Jamaican ladies, really, Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Elaine Thompson, they would have to significantly have some setbacks or significantly drop their time or, you know, slow their times down to see any type of dent in their placings as one and two. Right. So I think this bodes well for Elaine Thompson. Does this change my position on if Shelly Ann Fraser Price is the favorite? It actually really doesn't. I still think Shelly Ann Fraser Price is the favorite for the gold medal. We can still see the season play out a little bit different. But if I'm just picking right now and if I'm talking about it right now it, at the end of May, Shelly Ann Fraser Price is still my favorite. But I love to see Elaine Thompson still running extremely consistent. I think Shelly Ann Fraser Price has a vengeance. She wants to make sure she defends her gold medal. She wants to get back on the top of the podium. She's already kind of at the second half, um, nearing the end of her career. So she wants to make sure she's going out with gold. I think Elaine Thompson is going to be fighting to get her first world championship gold medal. And Shelly Ann Fraser Price is going to go head to head to really, you know, trying to deny her that spot. But we're going to see some great competition between all these ladies. So, of course, Sha'Carri Richardson, I don't think there's much to worry about. I actually think this is a pretty good race for her. Puts her in the conversation to make the U.S. team in the 100 meters. Elaine Thompson, again, also, I don't think this is too much to worry about in terms of her missing out on Birmingham. She's showing that she's still in form, and she's definitely going to be, you know, huge, huge medal contender, gold medal contender when we're talking about Eugene. We're going to see both of them, Elaine Thompson and Sha'Carri Richardson, at the Prefontaine meet this weekend in Eugene, Oregon. So definitely look out for that. Make sure you go in the comments below. Let me know what you think about Shakira Richardson and her performance in Florida. Let me know what you think about Elaine Thompson and her performance in Jamaica and skipping out on Birmingham. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.